Turning to our Low Country newsroom now, Hilton Head Island is doing everything it can to help sea turtles hatch babies. The town passed an ordinance that is finally showing results, and WSAV's Joseph Leonard joins us now to explain. It was projected to be a down year for sea turtle hatchlings on Hilton Head Island, but this year was anything but that. The island could finally be seeing the impacts of an ordinance put in place a couple of years ago. If you take a stroll across the beaches on Hilton Head Island, you'll notice some orange signs and a barrier around them, each protecting more than 100 sea turtle eggs. We're having hatching all over the place. There's thousands of hatchlings leaving the beach on Hilton Head. So far this year, data shows more than 10,000 baby sea turtles have been hatched. A couple of years ago, Hilton Head Island signed an ordinance meant to preserve the nests. And now marine biologist Amber Kuhn says she's finally seeing the impacts of those changes. Kuhn says turning off your lights is crucial. It helps the baby turtles find the ocean and not end up in your backyard. It was revised to include interior lights, which on these glass front houses um, definitely make a difference. So the light coming out of the inside of the house has to be cut down by 50% approximately, and the lights on the outside need to be downward facing and shielded. Beachgoers also can't dig holes deeper than a foot, and when they leave, they have to refill those holes. Also, nothing can be left on the beach overnight. And sandcastles have to be torn down 30 minutes before sunset. Kuhn says these rules have made the journey to the ocean much easier for these baby sea turtles. Her message is simple, leave only your footprints behind. It's particular parts of the beach that are heavily trafficked tend to be uh, looking like a landmine area. So um, if we could just do our best to fill in, leave it the way we found it, I think that that would be more than enough for these hatchlings to make it to the water. Season is coming to an end on the island. So far, data shows there have been 343 nests this time around. Now we're in the hatching season, which runs through October. Joseph Leonard, WSAV News 3, on your side.